Hello and welcome to this first event of the Marble Olympics, Balancing. This is a little bit different than what you might imagine. It is a team sport where four marbles are going to be rolling down a chute with no sides to it, and it's collectively whoever has the most distance between all four marbles combined gets the gold. So we start off here in a really good run for Mellow Yellow. That is a 312 for them. That's a pretty good number just by the looks of it, just eyeballing it, if you will. All right, next up here, you see a good spread, and uh, ooh, keeping going. We may have a finisher, and we will. It's Cerulean picking up 150 points. That goes to 268 and puts them in second place. Solid job. All right, now another good run. Not too bad, 307. That is a, that's a very solid finish. I would have to think that that is uh, going to be up there. That's just five behind what we saw for Mellow Yellow. 206, that is on the other end. That is a little bit paltry on their part. Okay, you see these marbles starting off in a bunch of three separating from the back and just 226 in that grouping. Team primary up now. Out of the starting block they go. Down the chute and then out onto the balance beam. Not too good a distance on that one. 208. That's one of the shortest ones that we've had. That is the shortest one in fact of these marble runs so far. Good team run for these two. Not bad at all. 298 just coming short of that 300 mark. I would have to think that the 300 is about the cutoff thereabouts for what the podium will be. 261 is not going to do it. So there you see the standings after those first few groupings of marbles. 312 leading the way by Team Mellow Yellow in front of Team Momo. We have 307 now in the final few. And a good start for a couple of those. A couple dropped off pretty quick. Look at the spectators back behind there enjoying this early competition in these Marble Olympics. The Chocolatiers down the chute now, separating into three. Two of them drop off left, two of them drop off right, and manage just 210. That's not going to do it. Snowballs. Coming down a good center starting position as they came out of the chute, ending with 254. They had a 95 in there. That is not too bad. I'd have to think for a lot of these marbles also, it's a matter of not necessarily challenging for the podium, but at least showing what they can do. And in that case, a 297 is a pretty good show to put on. Some of these, you know, at this level, all of the marbles are going to be pretty darn good. And when they reach this level, the tolerances are just so fine, the margins. And uh, that's why I think if you can beat that 300 mark, you're going to be in good shape. And thus far, only a couple have done that. Several have come close. 217, that is not close. Rojo Rollers now in the starting blocks. And they're off. A little bit of separation between them. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. We're going to have another finisher. Not too bad. Rojo 2 comes in, and that is a new Marble Olympics record. 347. That is miles ahead of Mellow Yellow with 312 with just one or two runners left to go. Can they check? No, that's not even going to be close. 233. That'll do it. That seals the gold for Rojo Rollers. 347 ahead of Team Mellow Yellow with 312 and Team Momo with 307. So that 300 was the cutoff. 10 points to gold, 7 to silver, and 5 to bronze. And it's going to be Rojo Rollers coming in with the gold, enjoying their spot on the podium. Congratulations, everyone, in this first event of the Marble Olympics in balancing. Well done, everyone.